So it's been a week of going for gold. It has indeed. Welcome to the Basement Golf Show. Hi there, so it is Olympic week. It's finally come, we've been waiting been a long time for this. And it's been amazing. It has been amazing. The Olympics has just been great. I've really enjoyed the golf. Yeah, I think it's like the golf course looks superb. I yeah. know it's purpose built. It's been one of those those things that none of those boys have seen it before, so it's been no. interesting. They've all been learning the golf course. And the scores really have got better and better, haven't yeah. they? Each round yeah. they've, they've got to know the course a bit better. Looks in, looks in top class condition as well. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good, it looks fine. Very, very good. For all the negative sort of press there was beforehand, I think I think the ones that have bought into it, mm. you can see, have come to the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. They're the ones that have embraced it and they're the ones that you, are enjoying it. If you've been following Bubba Watson on any social media platform, he has been to everything. He's been cheerleading, isn't he, at everything, oh. yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll put some pictures on the way through here so you can see, but yeah, he's really soaked it up. Yeah, he, he has, he's absolutely loved it. So, leaderboard. We have Justin Rose at the top. Come on, Team GB. I know, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd just be great. It'd be so good to see him win it. Yeah. Stenson, obviously, in form, carrying that on through. No, Mar 11 under. Marcus Fraser's pretty much just sat there from day one. Yeah, he had a good round one, didn't he? And just sort of hung around. Bubba came through yesterday. Yeah. My man Grillo is still there. Yeah. And your man Lingworth, mm -hmm. who we've predicted previously. To and do Harrington's well. doing well as well. Yeah, Harrington so. could, could easily sneak a medal there, and that would be amazing for. Yeah. Irish sport. Yeah, it's weird to think now you're not only looking at yeah first place, are you? I know. Like you would do normally. I know. So, but we are going to talk about first place. Yeah. And we do and both we've... want yeah. just so, to win. So, instead of predicting just the one each, we're actually just going to say Team GB. Team GB. Shall we get the score? What's Justin got to get to to fend off Stenson and Watson's charge? 16. I think 16 will be enough. Okay, I'm going to go 17. I reckon one of those could, one of those sixes or nines could shoot five or six under. So 16 or 17 under par. We shall see. Yeah. Moving on yeah. to John Deere Classic, mm. which is normally a pretty it's big, big deal. On the, yeah, it's on the big event PGA, on the PGA Tour. Um, John Deere, obviously famous for their grass cutting machinery. Indeed. Some Indeed. of the best that you can get. Um, and again, the courses, Other brands available. Other brands also available, yes. But <laughs> they are and do produce a wonderful golf course. Yeah. Had yeah. bad weather, again, just Shop. like that has been yeah. every week in America. You might as well just make that a permanent fixture. I know. You won't play one round a day, everyone. You yeah. will finish finish your rounds on separate days. Right. Ryan Moore. Moore. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah, carrying on his good form. He's been playing well this year. You can tell how good the golf course is by the scoring. Mm. Scoring through three rounds of, of 18 under par yeah. just shows that, that golf course is in uh, and top it's, notch. It's not, it's not 18 under and one person's there. No. Look how, you know, yeah, 12 under tied 14, 13. Just goes on and on, doesn't yeah. it? So, again, there's plenty of scope for someone to come out of the pack and win. Who are you going with? I'm going to go with Johnson Wagner. Yeah, OK. Yeah. So been a while since he's won. He's up there. I think he's one of those people who tries to get like quite aggressive with the golf course. So mm -hmm. I think he, he'll go out thinking he's, or knowing he's got to shoot a really good score and, and then hopefully he can pull it He might just do it. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to stick with Moore, I think. Yeah. It'll be boring, but he is in form. Yeah. Um, he's played really well last night. And hopefully we can just tickle him across the line there and he can get over. And obviously there is somebody in this mm. leaderboard that we'd quite like to win. We don't think he will but we would we would love to see it. Yeah. And who's that? Mr. Brian. Wesley Brian. Again, brilliant Brian brothers Just if you haven't checked them out on YouTube. An amazing story as well. Yeah. Started doing trick shots him and his brother. His brother now caddies for him. Yeah. He's gone through the web.com won three times. Which means he's automatically getting Gets his starts. card and then yeah. now he's on PJ Tour. And, and he's they got just, a chance. They just look like between the two of them, they just look like they're just Having loving fun. it. Yeah, just yeah, just messing around, doing their videos, and and obviously relaxing them. And he's going out and playing some he's great golf. Amazing golf, yeah. So Wesley Brian, good luck. We hope you do it. We're yeah. not quite sure you're going to do it this week, but your time will come. Yeah, yeah definitely. To win more.
Huddersfield versus Small this week. Yes. So after having a bit of a lead, mm -hmm. it's now five all. Five all. Yes. If you haven't seen the first ten Links Masters, click the eye up here and have a check out what we've been up to in the first ten mm -hmm. goes at Tall versus Small. So, so this week, yeah, we've sort of stolen a club from from a very yeah, yeah. A, a very well known person. Mm. Yes, yeah, so Martin Chuck, thank you very much. Yeah, um, he invented a company called Tour Striker, um, and one of his products is the Tour Striker Wedge. Now you'll see a picture on the screen now of the Tour Striker Wedge. It really helps you to get the feeling um, that you need to be getting at impact yeah. Yeah. Um, to strike those wedges and strike those irons off the floor. Um, so thank you for inventing that product. Um, I certainly use it very regularly in my coaching, um, and we thought we'd give ourselves a little challenge. Yeah. Yeah, so not from too far away. Not from too far away, no, just in case we miss hit it. So, 85 yards, Tour Striker Challenge. Yeah. See how we got on. So, this week's challenge is thanks to Martin Chuck over at Tour Striker. We're going to use the Tour Striker Wedge. We've all dreamed of striking it like the Tour Boys. Let's see if we can, but only from 85 yards. Mm, give us a chance. Okay. Twenty seven feet. Good to me. Fifteen point two. The most tall striker he strike in the world. Oh. Heavy <laughs> side. It's looking pretty straight. Get up there. Ooh. Well done. Nine foot victory there for you. Well, yeah, a victory, a definite victory, yeah. I'm not going to say our wedge play was brilliant. No, we, we didn't, <laughs> certainly didn't shoot the lights out. It's a good job we're both good putters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that wasn't our, our greatest no. hitting of the we, ball. But it was it was interesting, it was fun, yeah. wasn't it? It was, a good, it was a good challenge. Yeah. Um, and it's certainly, if you hit a few shots with one of these tour strike wedges, if you get a chance to get your hands on one, do, do try one out. It really does make your wedges when you get back to them feel huge. Yeah, and, and the club faces feel massive. And see if you haven't haven't seen anything about Tour Striker, go on their website. Mm. He's, Martin does some really really good videos as well. Yeah. So he does some really um, sort of really educational stuff that could make sense to some of you. It's going to help yeah. some of you out. So it's one of those things. And, and all the products on the website really really good. They're really good. Yeah. He will explain it in a way that you'll understand. And yeah, that's so important for coaching. It's just, yeah. It's just been put so simply, mm. which is how it needs to be. Yes, well done Martin, keep up the good work. So Lynx Master this week is a little different. So yesterday I was at a family wedding. I would say he's looking pretty fresh considering, would you agree? Yeah, not too bad, mm -hmm. I feel, feel fine feel this good. morning. Excellent. So Nick, who's uh, part of the family. Part of the family, excellent. Uh, he's a very very good golfer. Plays off two. Okay. So very good player. Yeah, very good player. Collared him. Um, he had had a beer at the time. Okay. That might <laughs> so explain but, the score a little. But collared him and and made him do links master. He didn't have any choice in the no, matter. No, you're gonna do it. So Nick, this is your links master. Right. So a little bit different this week. Uh, we're at a family wedding. So we've been here most of the day. You can see everyone enjoying themselves in the background. So got Nick. Hi, Hi Nick. Hello. Introduce yourself. My name's Nick. How you doing? And what handicap are you? Uh, I play F2. Showing off. 
Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to ask Nick a few questions, see how he gets on. Um, playing the Lynx Master this week might be a little bit Olympic related, I think. Oh, nice. So, for question number one, for five points. Okay. Ready? Yeah. When was the last Olympic gold medal given out for golf? What year was that given out? And you can't say, obviously, this year. 1948? 1904. It's 112 years ago. Wow. It's a travesty. 112 years we've been out golfing the Olympics. What a travesty. <laughs> but that's wrong. So, question number two. Come on. Which English golfer is currently a fan favourite and would would not pick himself as a wild card for the Ryder Cup team. He's a fan favourite. Loads nice. of people going mad for him in the minute. Absolutely mad for him. Got a new sponsorship deal out of a recent major performance as well. Um, and he's not in the Olympics? Is he in the Olympics? No, he's not in the Olympics. Uh, Ian Paul? No, fan favourite of Andrew. Beefy Johnson, oh, come beefy. on, the beef. <laughs> Can't believe he didn't get that. Rubbish. So the third question is loosely golf re- golf related. Okay. So name the film which stars Will Smith as a caddy. Oh, it's um, the Legend of Bag of Ants. Well done. Got a question right. Well done. <laughs> Three handicap golfer doesn't know anything about golf. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> Five points. So, question number four is guess the golfer. Okay, so you get five questions okay. to try and guess who this is. Obviously, right. least amount of questions you, you use, okay. more points you get. Excellent. Okay. First point, was born in Johannesburg in 1980. 1980. Johannesburg. Go for another one. Question. You can have a stab in the dark. Um, 1980. 1980, Johannesburg. Uh, Louis Ustazen. Louis Ustazen. That's a good guess. However, it's not the right guess. Right, okay. So, next question was the leading point scorer in the 2014 Ryder Cup. Ooh. Uh, this was, I'd get it from this. 2004. So think about where he's born, but think about who he's playing for. 2004. So 2014, Glen Eagles. Who was the leading Ryder Cup point scorer at Glen Eagles? Uh, another go? Or do another question? I'll have another question. I, I was thinking Brandon Grace, but he hasn't been in the Ryder Cup. So. No, because he, because he's South African, mate. <laughs> it's been, a, it's been a long jump. day. It's been a long Europe, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. 2014. So he came on the scene at the 1998 Open as an amateur, where he famously chipped in on the 72nd hole as a 17-year-old. Justin Rose. Well done, Justin Rose. So That's the one. third, third question. We've got that right. Well done. Excellent. Thank you. So last question is guess the year. So guess the year, as we all know, in the Lynx Master, is you get every major champion from that year, and then you get, the closer you get, the more points you get. Okay? Excellent. So we'll keep it simple for you. So the Masters was Marco Mira. The US Open was Lee Jansen. The Open Championship was Marco Mira again. He's had a good year. The US PGA was Vijay Singh. Uh... Big Veej. He's, he's probably about 44 at that point. Um, let's go for 1999. Ooh, you were one year out. That's a great effort. 1998, unfortunately. Ah. All right. So, well done, Nick. Thank you very much for taking part. Cheers. This Thank man's you. a member at Feltwell Golf Club. If you haven't checked it out in Norfolk, go, go across, check it out. Great nine-hole course. Always got great greens. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. But he did all right. You he did see. all right. Uh, they weren't easy questions. And as soon as I read out the names for the guest of the year, he was like, no, and he knew, he knew, he knew, he knew roughly where he was. Mm. 
And I was like, because that was the one after after he'd said Brandon Grace for oh, no. Ryder Cup player. I was just like, really? I, after after the caddies last week getting the five <laughs> points, there was no way, Nick, that you were going to get the five point question. I was going to throw it out there, make sure it was hard as possible. <laughs> Um, so yeah, born in Johannesburg was a bit of a red herring, um, but hopefully the Ryder Cup yeah. should have given it away. I was even so, so he's born there, but he but plays for the Europe. Ryder Cup. Like he must be European. <laughs> Thank like. you very much, Nick. Well done, Nick. If you want to have a go at Links Master, yeah, please use the hashtag three six five PJ three six five down the bottom there. Just get in touch. We'll get the questions to you in any way we can. Mm -hmm. Get it recorded and get you on the show. It's a big whack this week. It's all over to you. This, this is, man is remarkable. This uh, a gentleman called Sid, who came to see me this week for a lesson, um, hadn't played golf in 10 years, took it back up a few weeks ago and thought, right, I need to have a lesson before I really start playing again properly. Came to me, said he wanted to look at his driver because he could, you know, wanted to have get some more distance off the tee and hit the shot and I was like, I, I, I'm going to have to record your swing. This is just 85 years old, hasn't picked up a club for 10 years, just enjoy this. Sid, this is your big whack. Well, I think you can all agree. Sid, very well played, sir. Yeah. If I'm still swinging it like that at 85, I'll be very, very happy. Yes, yes, very happy. So I think that's about it for this week. It is. Thanks for watching, as always. And all we can do is wish any more of Team GB. Yes. Good whatever luck. sport, best yeah. of luck. Keep making us proud. Yes, keep doing it for us. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. <laughs>